so wrong and right there. In Ferguson, Missouri, the police shooting of Michael Brown Jr. sparked protests and a Department of Justice investigation. It resulted in a consent decree. It laid out a roadmap. Legally forcing the police department to start changing hiring, use of force policies, and training practices. Police Chief Jason Armstrong says it's intensive. This is work. It's, it's constant communication. We, we work with them almost on a daily basis. DOJ investigations have resulted in 40 reform agreements across the country, including more than a dozen that are currently active. How impactful are these? Yeah, the jury is somewhat out on this. Former civil rights prosecutor Michael Giannakos helped police departments in Los Angeles and Portland, Oregon comply with orders resulting from these investigations. Things have to change as a result of federal intervention. There's no getting around it. In some cities, it's meant speeding up discipline against officers and de-escalation requirements. In Portland, there is an overhaul of internal affairs practices and new crisis intervention training. Newark, New Jersey officers were issued body cameras for the first time. The agreements tend to be very specific and have a very high bar with regard to completion. But in Ferguson, some activists say the changes mean more on paper than in practice. The DOJ comes to town. Um, some people start swinging pins around. With MPD, DOJ investigators will comb through documents, talk to police and to the community. There's no guarantee they'll find a pattern of problems. But if they do, Janako said at least some change is almost certain. And that's all being supervised by a federal judge. So there will need to be some type of reform. The real question, Lauren, is whether that reform ends up becoming lasting ends up becoming embedded into the police culture. This investigation will take months and it'll include a deep dive into whether the department routinely used excessive force into its systems of accountability and whether it has violated people's constitutional rights. Chief Arredondo has pledged to cooperate. And at this point, it seems like people just want information. We just want to know more. And you're saying the investigation would take months, but it could be years that the federal feds are involved with the police department, correct? Yeah, it's usually for a period of years, and they have to consistently check back in with their federal monitors and federal judges. All right. Thanks so much, Lauren.